What's up YouTube, it's Xenazor here, and today I have a video for you talking about the Nexus Prime. So the video is going to be fairly quick compared to the rest of my videos, and I'll just be talking about the specifications and, uh, and uh, the reason why Samsung postponed the launch of the Nexus Prime. So let's get into this. So uh, first off, um, the Google um, Nexus Prime is uh, going to be running Ice Cream Sandwich, as you can see right here ice cream sandwich is going to be uh, loaded onto the phone and from what we can tell and gather from sources is that the ice cream sandwich software will be fairly clean looking um, this uh, free preview right here shows ice cream sandwich being run on a phone uh, the phone cannot be identified yet it's either the Nexus Prime or some other future phone um, from the looks of it it might be the Nexus Prime but no one can be sure because we can't see anything else besides the screen and the bezel um, but basically uh, ice cream sandwich so far looks pretty clean it looks fast um, it looks like they've redesigned the look if you look right here Google um, it's all black and it looks really nice um, because it's like a square it kind of reminds me like that Windows mobile experience but only in a tiny bit just that little Google banner but that's it the Google search feature um, this looks fairly clean, it looks really fast, um, and in my opinion, this is definitely what people expect to have on their phones. Um, so let's get to the next thing. So um, these are just a couple models of the uh, Google Nexus Prime, and if any of you know that um, the Google Nexus Prime is the third generation of Nexus. First there was just the Nexus, and there was the Nexus S, and now it's the Nexus Prime. So, uh, what they're doing here is uh, just showing you a quick glimpse of what the phone might look like. Um, so, right here, you see a little bit of a curve um, in the phone, and that is what a lot of pictures are showing. For example, this picture, you can see that there's a visible, very visible curve in the phone. And I think this picture that I have right here is the most accurate um, it's typical of Samsung to uh, have three buttons at the bottom, touch capacitive. Um, the Nexus S was curved, so I would not be surprised that this was curved too. Um, speculations say uh, that it has a 4.65 inch display, that's diagonal, 4.65, um, 1280 by 720 resolution, and it's Super AMOLED HD, so Super AMOLED HD, which from that I can tell that this phone is going to be beyond crystal clear. I'm talking like amazing display. Um, since it's Super AMOLED HD, it should not uh, consume that much power. And um, the theme of this thing is pretty blue. Um, right down there, the icon for the market is blue. Um, maybe that's just a picture, I don't know. Also, the notification bar is blue. And again, this is not... Um, a definite picture of it but from the looks of it the whole theme here is blue so that's just my opinion on it and obviously the opinion of the person who either created this picture or somehow got this picture I don't know how but um anyway so it's also rumored to have a 1.2 gigahertz dual core TI OMAP processor and uh, like I said before definitely running ice cream sandwich which is 4.0 so, it will probably most likely be on the uh, 4G LTE network of uh, Verizon. And uh, the camera, which you can uh, very clearly see right here, in these pictures right here, you can see that, and you can also see it here, the camera right where my mouse is. Right here, uh, you can see a front-facing camera. That's probably going to be just a standard front-facing camera, probably the same uh, resolution of... Um, of probably the older Nexus S or the uh, iPhone 4S. Probably not the most high quality, probably not going to shoot HD, but you never know. Um, most likely it's just going to shoot maybe 480p or um, something that is uh, visible and clear but not super clear that uh, is just like mind blowing and I don't think it's possible yet to fit that into a camera that's literally almost the size of a pin. So uh, anyway, the specs of this looks pretty uh, 
legit. I mean, this is definitely what people want in a phone, and from the looks of it, it looks like this is going to be a real phone. So, with that said, uh, Samsung has postponed the launch of this because of the death of Steve Jobs, which you can see on the Apple Home website. And uh, the death of him caused them to not want to release their product yet. First of all, because it would shake Apple too much. First, they'd have the death of their former CEO and basically the whole man behind the operation of Apple. And uh, second, because uh, Apple was going through a hard time already and they didn't want to uh, pursue Apple anymore with, uh, with uh, probably taking them to court about some things that that Samsung believes that they uh, stole ideas that Apple stole from Samsung but that's just a quick thing it was supposed to be um, it was it was announced that they would be delaying this on October 8th um, so basically uh, this will probably be postponed to a later date that is not that far away but it's further enough away for uh, Apple to recuperate from the death of Steve Jobs and to readjust themselves and for everything to get back into the workflow so that it's easy for everyone to adjust back into it. And uh, we will probably be seeing the Nexus Prime before the end of October, but no one can be sure. Um, so with that said, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my giveaway, which I will be doing next Sunday, whenever the products that I am going to review will arrive. So, uh, thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and peace.